Some might say that Lil Nas X thrives on controversy. I got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached, head is mad at black, got the bushes black to match. The 21 year old pop star first became a household name with his song Old Town Road, one of the biggest hits of 2019. The song, when it first debuted, ignited a conversation about race and who gets to be country. And now, Lil Nas X is making headlines again. This time, some in the conservative Christian community in an uproar over his latest song and music video, Montero. Call me by your name. It's these words and these images. Will Lil Nas X, who's openly gay, is seduced in the Garden of Eden, then slides down from heaven to hell on a pole and twerks on Satan that has people glued to their screens. With the music video gaining over 38 million views in just three days on YouTube. Little Nas X appeals to Little Nas X fans and there are a lot of them. These are people who like what he does and what he does is as much about the internet and as much about the visuals as it is about the music. But the racy song and video has some members of the conservative Christian community up in arms. Social media exploding with people reacting over what the song could mean for our souls. How did you first react when you saw that video? Disgusted at the highest level. Pastor Mark Burns is an evangelical minister for the Harvest Praise and Worship Center in South Carolina. He has a constitutional right to do so, to say so, um, just as we Christians have a constitutional right uh, to, to practice our faith. Having said that, it is still disgusting uh, to see Little Nas X acting as though he is having intercourse with Satan on television. Burns says he became concerned after watching the music video and seeing Lil Nas advertising Satan shoes, modeled after Nike's Air Maxes and costing $1,018 after the Bible verse, Luke 10, 18. The shoes allegedly contain a drop of human blood, in addition to traditional satanic imagery like the pentagram. Mischief, the creator of the shoe, reportedly saying they sold out in less than a minute. Do you think Lil Nas X should be canceled? As long as Lil Nas X is promoting what we consider uh, one of the most damaging images in our culture, which is Satan, and to glorify Satan. If that's his belief system, he has a right to worship whoever he wants to worship. But we have a right to not buy his product. We have a right to go after the corporations that support him and back him. Nike is now suing mischief, saying Nike is in no way connected with this project. And Nike has not and does not approve or authorize the Satan shoes. In a press release, Lil Nas X suggested that the imagery in the music video was intended to address homophobia, saying he was harnessing his sexuality to seduce the devil and strip of his power as an evil force, while dismantling the throne of judgment and punishment that has kept many of us from embracing our true selves. I think there's a better way to communicate that message. There are other ways to do that. You can use love. You can use, you know, togetherness. Now, I'm against any attack verbally and physically against um, any uh, um, LGBT mem LGBTQ community member uh, in this country. But there's a better way to communicate. Lil Nas tweeting his response to the controversy, writing a letter to his 14-year-old self, saying in part, this will open doors for many other queer people to simply exist. To me, the, the potential message to the youth in this video is that you can find strength in being exactly who you are, whoever that is. Sarah Marshall co-hosts a pop culture podcast called You're Wrong About, which explores major media events from the past. Marshall says that the reaction to Lil Nas's video is just another example of the phenomenon satanic panic. What actually are satanic panics and why do we see them happening so often culturally, mm -hmm. especially in response to pop music? But it's always related to the idea that youth culture is becoming too powerful and transgressive and also that American sexuality is becoming too shameless. Lil Nas is not the first artist to use religious imagery in his music to push the boundaries. From the Rolling Stones in Sympathy for the Devil, to Madonna, 
in Like a Prayer. There's just nothing new about this at all. In fact, it's so much a common trope of rock and roll that we have to conclude that Little Nas X knew exactly what he was doing. He was invoking this heritage. In a way, by putting out this letter and saying that I am pushing an agenda, does that allow him to control the narrative in a way? He's conscious of what he's doing and he's doing it in a particular way. And that means that he is attempting to control the narrative. But it's a big world, it's a big audience, and it's a big narrative. <laughs> It's a big responsibility for an artist who, just two years ago, was a college dropout, living on his sister's couch in Atlanta, determined to break through in any way possible. Life was me moving from sibling to sibling house, promoting my music like through Twitter, and you know, barely getting any you know reaction out of anything. How you feeling, Nas? I first spoke to Lil Nas in 2019 right when Old Town Road was the hottest song in the world, as he was navigating his way from internet anonymity to superstar. I got the horses in the back, horse got in the back. Over the course of a few months, I was just putting it into memes and, you know, like kind of forcing it into the internet in a way. I got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached. Old Town Road eventually went viral on TikTok climbing Billboard's country music charts to number 19. But less than a week later, the song got the boot. In a statement to Rolling Stone, Billboard stated that the track does not embrace enough elements of today's country music to chart in its current version. That decision led to outrage online. Fans tweeting, wow, discrimination at its finest. After a remix with country legend Billy Ray Cyrus, the song took off becoming the number one song on Billboard's Hot 100 for 19 weeks straight. One thing's clear, as Lil Nas X continues to blur lines between hip hop and country, internet troll and global star, and now heaven and hell. He keeps stirring the pot, and whether you like it or not, we're still talking about him. I think it's a really beautiful video and it feels like we are being asked to witness and appreciate a sexuality that has not been passed around Twitter and shown to everyone in this way before. And that it, it feels to me like a brilliant maneuver to make something beautiful and inspiring. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.